power. My mommy is problems where they do things a bit differently from how we do them in America. So does somebody need to do that earlier? I eat cereal and bread for breakfast. When mommy was little, she ate the eggs and cow meal. That's sticky rice. Yummy. I did fruit, I drink fruit juice from a box. Mommy drank coconut water from a coconut. In the evenings, I watch cartoons on my tablet, and then I do homework. Mommy watched shadow puppets on big sheets. She did homework on a small blackboard. I love potato chips. I eat them like mommy, and I make on my life. That's a neck that's made of flowers. We're making one out of jasmine flowers, like she did with her mommy when she was little. I learn new things from mommy every day, and guess what I just learned? Can you guys say this with me? Mommy. Guess what I just learned? Mommy, mommy eats fried grasshoppers. That's right. <laughs> What's up, mommy? Asked. No, thank you. I replied quickly. They taste like potato chips, mommy. It says. I change the subject. It is hot. Can we go swimming? Can you relate? It's like so hot right now. Do you guys want to go swimming? Yeah. Okay, we're going to go right now. Look at this. We swim in the pool near our house. Sometimes our dogs and cats join us. If you were in Laos, you would jump in this pond with me. Mommy swam in the fish pond near her house in Laos. She had pet beetle and a fighting fish to keep her company. <laughs> So we can use our imagination. We're in the pond right now together, swimming and pulling off. After swimming, I like going to the store to shop for toys. Shopping with mommy is super fun. We bought a baby doll, dress up shoes, jump rope, and a game of jazz. Mommy made all her toys and fun things to play with when she was little. She made dolls out of rats, fancy flip-flop out of banana tree trunks, a jump rope by tying row bands together, and then use tamarind seed for game. It's time for ballet class. I love to dance. So does mommy. She did the loud traditional dance not the same at festival. by counting down with people on TV and yell, Happy New Year! Mommy celebrated Loud New Year by splashing water at people to wash the bad luck away. And she yelled, Somebody be mine! And it usually occurs in April. So our New Year is in April. Isn't that interesting? I enjoy movie night in front of the big screen at home. Mommy's grandparents told her stories under the story sky. If it's dark right now, Stars. Let's watch us some fried pass hopper with our movie, says Mommy. Mommy says, ooh, really? She's not sure, wow. I thought about it for a little bit. I can see it staring at me. Then I thought about Mommy and me. Hmm. We always share and do things together. So I slowly said, sure. Crunch. <laughs> Crunch. I think, would you guys do that? For your mommy? No, no. Would you eat broccoli for your mommy? Yeah. That's good enough. That's good enough. That's a good start. I know it's bedtime by looking at the clock. When mommy was little, she knew it was bedtime when the sky grew dark. I listen. I enjoy listening to mommy's stories before I fall asleep. Good night, mommy, whisper mommy. Night, night, mommy. Guess what? Guess what, you guys? Your bright fried grasshoppers do taste like potato chips. <laughs> Joe, and there are potato chips. And in the back, you can see, you can learn a new language, new language today. So there's a lot of words used in the book. And um, like the sabaydi, mali, kaumil, it's a sticky rice, and then you have the wamalai. This is what I'm wearing. This is the plumeria flower. This 
is this is the loud national flower. So we have a national flower. And then that the sin is the dance and then somebody. So on the bottom is all numbers. Would you guys count with me? We're gonna count it now. So you guys ready? Okay, let's let's do this together, alright? Okay. Okay, on three, we're gonna I'm gonna count three in English and then we're gonna switch to loud. What do you think? Thumbs up if you are ready? Nice. Okay, so one, two, three. No? I can't hear you. No. Song. Sam. Si. Ha. Ha. Ho. Jet. Bad. Gao. Sit. Please give yourself a big hand. Wow. You just learned another language. That is a big accomplishment. Congratulations. You are all Lao Asian now. Yes, and today I'm going to invite you to even learn more about it. So what we're going to do, when I say open, when you open it, you will arrive to Laos. You guys ready? Okay, please close your eyes right now. I want you to close your eyes and we're going to go to Laos, okay? So Laos is very tropical. We're flying over. Uh, lean left. Everybody lean to your left. Lean to your right because the airplane is loud a bit. We'll be back and forth because we're flying over the ocean. It's very tropical. You can feel the breeze. Woo! And I see, oh, I see banana trees. Do you see banana trees? Open your eyes. Welcome to Lars, everybody. How was your journey? Good thumbs up. My daughter. Welcome to my garden. Look at my flower. Look at my, uh, my banana trees. So I hope you enjoyed visiting Laos this afternoon. So, okay, I'm gonna show you how we say hello. And this is how we greet you Laos. Put your hands together like this, okay? Especially during COVID time because we can't hug or kiss, but definitely when you see somebody, put your hands together like this, and you just kind of bow and you say, somebody, it's like saying somebody, like somebody loves me. Okay, can, you guys can remember that? And so, on a count of three, we get it together. Ready, one, two, three, somebody. Wonderful! Somebody to you all too, and thank you for coming. And okay, so let's see what's the next page. Oh my goodness, here it is. If you want to turn, you can turn the page and follow. Um, here, sticky rice basket. This is the party size. Isn't this big? So, you know, this is made with bamboo by our hands, and we have made this since the beginning of time for the Lao family. And we never change it because you know why it's working. It's so big, right? And you can also have, look how cute this is. This is a personal side. So this is called the deep cow. This is maybe bamboo. And I would, I usually, um, I used to have my lunch in here. I would take it, give my lunch, you know, go to lunch. Isn't that cute? And so, so how do we make sticky rice? This is our sticky rice cooker. So this is the basket, and this is the bas uh, This is the uh, the basket that we put the water in, and then we have another basket for steam. And then you would steam it about I don't know 20 to 40 minutes, flip back and forth. And then once it's done, <laughs> so put the rice like this. So once it's done, you just kind of shake it like this, right? And then. And then when you're done, you pour it in, you pour it in here. So when I was a little girl, like you guys, first grade, second grade or third grade, that was, that was my task. Get that rice out of the basket, you know, in here. Then I have my, I have my Vanna down here. She's gonna bring this down for me. Thank you, Vanna. And it's gonna be at that table. You can feel free to come and look at it as well. Okay, so let's see what's next here. Ooh, and we have we have the shadow puppets. This is the shadow puppet right here. This is usually made with animal skin. So you know, people in Laos were very resourceful. We use what we have, right? And then we tie this with strings on a bamboo stick. So we didn't have Michael. So we didn't have crazy glue or hot glue. You know. 
And if I want a glue, can you guess what I would use if I needed a glue? A rice. A piece of rice. Yes. Sticky rice. That's right. That's right. You get you get sticky rice and you mash it and you smack it on. Yeah. And that was all glue. Yep. And if I wanted crazy glue strength, I'd just double the sticky rice and make it let them wet, you know? So we managed. But look at this. We're able to make this without glue, just a string and sticks. Right? And I have some down there for you as well. And whoops. Look at this. Have you guys seen a blackboard before? Raise your hand if you've seen a blackboard before. Nice. Okay. So, you know, when I was a little girl in house, we didn't have a lot of paper. Usually the teachers would have the paper or um, the book. So the student, each of the students would have their own personal blackboard, maybe a letter size bigger than this, like a book size. So we would write all of our homework here. And if I go home and if I erase it, you know what, I erase my homework. The dog didn't eat my homework, but I erased my homework. <laughs> I go, if I go back to school and say, hey, teacher, I erased my homework, well, I would get a fail that day, you know? So uh, you guys have something similar. It's like your tablet, right? So when you push this, your tablet takes you guys to a different screen. I don't have that magic screen. I push this, this is it. I only have one screen. Imagine that. And I have to do the homework, math, everything that a student is asked to do. One screen. But you guys are able to push it and it takes you to a different screen. So how do you strength is that? Okay. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, and then you have my ladies here. All right. Here's section. There's, you should have a little cup of grasshoppers in your bag. If you want to eat it by now, we can eat it together. Okay? No, 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 no. All right. Okay, you guys want to see? You guys want to eat it together? Okay. You don't have to if you don't want to. If you want to, you can. This is this grasshopper is really safe. Um, I put Okay, so let me know when you're ready. Yes. Yeah, it, yeah. One more, one moment, Vanna. Yeah, I'll give you the cut. Yeah, so she's coming around with, there's Nancy coming around with more grasshoppers. So that one is um, COVID friendly. So we want you with, we're going to all do it together. And then when you do it, there should be a sticker in there. This is going to be our, our home garden's fear factor edition.
think my first snack I saw was Dorito chips. I wish you had to be eating Dorito chips before, yes. So I didn't know that was like a snack. So when I ate Dorito chips, the, uh, the Dorito chips has such a, like a, a strong odor. Uh, you know, I, when I ate it, I, I was, I thought it was like, uh, like rat poison or something, you know. I was like, oh, what is this? You know, and I said, why, why did they snack on some strange food? I said, where's grasshoppers? It's not interesting, because I thought potato chip, I thought the chip was so interesting. Okay, Miss Nancy, you're done, you're passing out. I think we all got it. Let's win our hand on the count of three. Let's do it together. You guys ready? Everybody here, you get excited. One, two, three, press. <laughs> okay, thumbs up if you like it's it. It's not like, oh my god, I want another one. Okay. Thumbs on the sides if you're not too sure. Thumbs down if you don't like it. But please give yourself a big hand. You are just kind. So you can check that off your list. You ate something interesting today. <laughs> Wonderful. Wow, fantastic. Should we continue? Together, there should be a rubber band in there or a string. 
have that for you. Okay. All right. I'll wait a little bit more. Okay. So you guys ready? Okay, let's make this together. So get it this size, and then we're going to go to the edge. We're going to fold it down like this. How simple that is. We all can do this. Okay, and then because you guys are sitting down, just kind of put it out like this. Okay, I'm just showing you because I'm standing up. And then just roll the other end the same way. Okay, roll the other end the same way, and then you have it meet. You see how it's meeting? Good. I'm looking at some of you guys are doing it fantastic. Perfect, fantastic. So go to a third of the way and just kind of bend it like this. Now, can you kind of see already? Okay, I'm making a ninja of this one. This is the boy part. And then you kind of take the, uh, like a third of the head and then you get the rubber band or the rope that you have and you tie it. Look at that. This is the hand, this is the leg, this is the ninja one. Woo! Okay, so do you want me to uh, convert this into a rag doll? Okay, so you can have a whole family. You can make mommy, daddy, brother, sister, ninja, or rag doll. Okay, so I'm gonna undo it, and then you just go back to the starting position. Okay, so I have to tell you, this is the original transformer from Laos. This is the original Laos transformer. Mommies, you're from the 80s. You know the you know the theme song. Transformer needs the eyes. Is that right? Yeah, these are going to be the legs. Yes. Okay, so you just flip it over and then you do the same thing. But you can see, look, the pants change into a skirt. Look at that. It's the loud transformer. Needs the eyes right there. So you have the hand and the leg. So you can make the whole family if you like. All right, I see some of you guys making it already. Okay, so if you're done, if you want to raise your doll or uh, ninja up. Wow, look at her. It's beautiful. Beautiful right there. Oh my goodness, back there. Wonderful. And if you guys want to take it home, you can definitely decorate this. Beautiful. Oh my goodness, right there. You can put googly eyes on it. You can glitter it up. You can dress it up. So you can do anything with this. Oh my gosh, I saw another one right there. Fantastic, you guys are wonderful. I love it. This is awesome. So go home and take a picture of it. And we would love it if you would share, you know, on my Instagram or Facebook. Because we'd love to see what you guys are doing. Okay. So the next thing, of course, I, every girl wants a fancy, fancy shoes, right? Well, I couldn't. I didn't have a place to go buy, so I'm gonna make myself one. And you know, this is um, okay. So you see, this this is the banana tree, right? Okay. So if you come here, it's gonna sound a little bit. Okay. If you can pull off that for you, go this way. Okay. Ooh, look it! So you see that banana tree? This is what's made from. So this is what came from the banana tree. And basically, I just used this part and cut it out. So I was make, I would, I would size myself like, oh, I'm a size five, and I just cut it. <laughs> right? It's very customized, man. Some shoes, right? <laughs> look at this. Size five, size six, you know, any way you want it. And then I took the rubber band and kind of hook it up like this. Again, stick. So. There's only three things I need, right? Because I didn't have Michaels, you know? I didn't have a, like a whole kit. So I had the banana from my backyard and a rubber band that I recycle and then a little stick somewhere. Just take it off a branch, right? And then what do you know? Look at this, guys. Look at this. This is so exciting. I, do you guys want to see it? I want to hear you. You want to see it? Oh my God! Okay, okay. Look at this. Whoa, thank you! Isn't that amazing? So if you have a banana tree at home, you can definitely do this. Okay? Exciting, exciting. Alright. And you know, this is this is also the banana leaf, right? You see all the leaves? I just I just cut this down a little bit. Now what do you think what kind of toys I can make with this? Now, 
for the unicorn to come alive, I really need you guys to believe. So I want you to whisper, unicorn, unicorn. So that way we wake up unicorn and it comes alive. And we have to really believe that it's going to come alive, okay? So you guys ready? Can you say unicorn? Unicorn, unicorn, unicorn. I can't hear you. Good. 